Hey, how are you guys doing? So I wanted to do a quick video on the fact that you don't have to be weird to be successful in this business. I know that sounds strange, but a lot of things have come up lately and um, I think it needs to be addressed. So um, it, part of what sparked this is I was on YouTube and you know how they have the advertisements and they have the dude on there that's going, is you're up one ish to create a list of 100 people that you know. Yeah, we all have, okay? And then he talks about how you've alienated, he alienated all his friends and family because he approached them about his business and how that's such a bad idea. And he's right to a point. But here's the, what's where he's wrong. The list of 100 is not a bad idea. It's a good idea. In fact, in every business I've ever been in, in sales, you do a hit list. That's what you do. Um, what's wrong is how you approach those people on your list. Don't be weird. You don't need to just call people up out of the blue. And he's and he went on to say that that those names we ask for those names because these are the people you've already built relationships with. Your friend, these are your friends and your family. So you you don't have to start from scratch with them. So you can pretty much approach your friend. And be as point blank as, hey, I just started selling Avon. I love this product. Oh, my gosh. You have to try it. But we don't have to be weird. And people get weird. So if you're weird about this, I want you to really listen. You don't have to tell anybody you're weird. It can be your secret, okay? And change the way you do things. Because where it gets weird with your friends and family is when they say to you, yeah, I'm not really into that. I'd rather use Mary Kay. What? We freak out. Or, yeah, I don't want to be in a business like that base anyway. And they tell you no. And they might even be downright rude about it. But here's the thing. Were they your friend before you asked? Was it family before you asked? Yeah. Are they going to be friends afterwards? I hope so. So what do you do when you approach someone, friends and family, let's talk specifically, but anybody about your business? And they tell you no. You say, okay, thanks. I just wanted to ask, how was blah, blah, blah. And you ask them about something else that has nothing to do with your business. Because you don't want it to get weird. Here's the thing. We have a tendency to, and is particularly in this world of social media, um, we have a tendency to text somebody or Facebook message them and say, hey, I'm in this new business and you are going to love it and it's only $25 and you need to get started and da 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 sales pitch, sales pitch, sales pitch, because they're our friends. We already have the relationship. And then when they say no, we say, okay, maybe, but we never message them again for the rest of the day, maybe not for a couple of days, especially if they're a friend we haven't seen in a long time. It's weird. So from the other perspective, you're sitting there, they're sitting there going, she, is she pissed off? Is she mad that I didn't enjoy her business or that I didn't buy her skin so soft? Well, that's not cool. You can't do that. And that's where the alienation starts happening. So here's the thing. People are going to tell you no. No is hard. Get used to it, though. You're going to hear it. Okay? I think they're crazy. I don't know why you wouldn't want to start a business with Avon. I don't know why you wouldn't want to buy skin so soft. I don't understand that. I can't fathom that. But there are people that don't want it. And you have to say, hey, no big deal. So how are the kids doing? And you need to carry on that conversation. Continue that conversation. Take it a different avenue. Do not bring up Avon again. Don't. Don't do it. I don't care how tempted you are. Even if they start complaining about money, you or you, you threw it out there. i will give it at least a day or two before you said, you know, you keep talking about how you don't have any money, but you wouldn't even listen to me about this Avon business. Hmm. Then maybe I bring it up again. But right at that point, I would say, just shush, shush on Avon and talk about something else. Be the friend. What do you have in common? Right? Okay, let's talk about people who are not close friends and family. Okay? When you start getting into the warm market instead of the hot market, there's people that maybe you know them. Maybe you don't know them. Maybe they, you just met them on social media. And you approach them about the business. First of all, don't just approach random people. Can I just start with that? That's weird. 
If you join a group, and we've talked about this before, go in and join groups that you're interested in that don't have anything to do with direct sales. Join a group like I have a pit bull. I love my pit bulls. They're the best dogs in the world, and they'll never tell me anything different. So I'm in some pit bull groups. Um, I am also really into my family history. I love doing, um, you know, I'm on Ancestry.com, and I love doing all that digging. I'm kind of weird like that, and so I'm in groups like that. Um, our family likes to camp. We do a lot of camping for vacation, so I'm in some camping in Michigan groups, and they talk about all the great places there are to camp and which ones are better and da 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 So get in groups that don't have anything to do. Oh, here's another group I'm in, Dollar Tree groups. Like, because I love a bargain, anything with a bargain, if it's frugal, if it's cheap, if it's whatever, I'm in those kind of groups. So what are you interested in? And be sincere about it, because people will know if you're lying. Don't go into a Harley Davidson group if you don't have a motorcycle. They're going to call you out. You're going to look stupid. You're not going to look weird. You're going to look stupid. So do things that you're actually interested in. But find those groups and get socialized. Those are like little parties, okay? It's like you're just going to a party. Okay, I'm going to a pit bull party. That's what I'm, everybody at this party loves pit bulls. We all have one thing in common. Everybody at this party loves camping. We have one thing in common. You already have something in common. Go into those groups, but do not, do not hit your business. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Don't. Because that's weird. That looks like that's the only reason you're in there. And even if it is, even deep down inside, you're going, I'm only doing this so I can promote my business. It's weird. Go in there. Be social. Talk about camping. Talk about pimples. Talk about gardening. Talk about biking. Talk about whatever it is that you're interested in, whatever that group is about. And make friends. Do you remember how to make friends? Pretend you're on the playground in elementary school. Introduce yourself. Ask a question about the topic that you're in the group for, okay? Uh, answer questions and add more. If you can add to, I mean, this is how you are social, okay? This is what social means. Carry on conversations with these people in the group. And eventually you're gonna find somebody, probably pretty quickly, that you really connect with. So maybe you're gonna find out you have more in common with these people than camping in Michigan, and you have more in common with these people than pit bulls. And when that connection starts to happen, you, you become friends. And the next thing you know, you're going to send them a friend request. But you're still not going to pitch your freaking business, okay? Because you're going to do it right, and you're not going to be weird. Because you friend request them, and then you hit them right up right away, and they're going, yeah, now I see. Now I see where you were getting it. If you go into any of these groups, groups, almost every single one of them, in their rules, say, do not pitch your you know, I don't know, direct sales businesses or posts are not allowed. Well, no kidding, because people go on there, and we've all seen it, and all they've done is buy my product, join my team, buy my product, join my team, buy my product, join my team, buy my product, join my team. Don't do it. It's weird. It's weird. Would you walk into, um, would you walk into a bar on New Year's Eve and walk up to somebody that you've never seen before and say, hey, buy my product? Join my team. And then go to the next person, buy my product, join my team. Would you do that? No, that's weird. You would start a conversation somehow, some other way. You would find a common denominator. You would say, oh, cute top, cute dress, nice lipstick. Your nails are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that jewelry, amazing. You would probably find something like that. Or you would say, I know you. Don't your kids go to school with my kids? You would find a common factor. You wouldn't say, walk up to a complete stranger and say, join my team. Join my team. Buy my products. It's weird. Don't do it. Take time to build a relationship. What's going to happen is once you send them a friend request, they're going to see random posts. They're going to get that you sell Avon. Now, here's what I also don't advise. I, I advise you, your profile picture and your cover picture and your, your cover photo, sorry, um, it should not say Avon. Mm -mm. It should be, your your profile picture should be you smiling, looking happy. Okay? Save the Avon stuff for an Avon business page. Now, I do recommend that you put that you sell Avon in your job description. That's your job. That's what you do. Okay? But here's what's happening. If you start friend, friend requesting people and all they see Avon on your profile picture, Avon. 
and they see Avon on your cover photo, oh, more Avon, and they see Avon plastered everywhere on your page, they immediately say, she's going to pitch me. I don't want anything to do with it. You do it. Tell me you don't do it. You have a friend that work, that, that sells herbal life or it works or thrive or um, beach body or I mean, it, you name it. You have a friend that sells that somewhere and you can't go to their page without getting hit in the face with all of this stuff. And you know what that is? Here's the thing. I, I Don't get me wrong. I respect them for promoting their businesses. They're doing what they think is right. I don't agree with it. Here's why. What that looks like, you don't see them. You see their business. You don't see their personality. You see their business. You need to let your personality shine through. Okay? You need to show what you're interested in. You need to show that you're fun. You need to show that you are an encourager and you are uplifting and that you are a happy person. Those are the kind of people that that other people are drawn to. Okay, they're not going to be drawn to you because of your business. I'm going to tell you, I heard this over and over when I was at Repfest, and I've heard it for years before that, but here's the truth of the matter. People do not join a company, they join a person. And if they like you, and they think you are encouraging, and they want to be around you, and you're uplifting, and you are good, you know, you're just a good friend, they're probably going to join your business in time. They might do it not, not do it today, but they'll do it in time. But if all you, all they can see, if a complete stranger went to your page and all they could see was Avon, 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 uh, social media post, um, Avon in the banner, Avon, 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 Avon. They're not seeing your personality. They don't know who you are. They're not getting to know you. I want you to really seriously take a look at your page and are you showing your personality through that? Can people see who you are? Now, you might come to me and say, but my personality really isn't that great. I'm pretty negative. I don't like people. I mean, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit that that was me. You, I don't. I, I didn't like people so much. I didn't. I mean, I love them, but they could drive me freaking nuts. But here's the thing. This is where personal development comes in. You have to understand that, yeah, there's times when people drive me bonkers, but I love people. God created everyone, even the crazies. So we have to give them a little, cut them a little slack and not be so critical. We're not perfect either. And you start to do this to, to develop as a person and grow as a person. And you just start to be thankful and you just start to love people and you start to be respectful of other situations. And when I say respectful of other situations, I'm not saying you stand there when you see somebody doing something that you know is flat out wrong. I'm not saying you, just, oh, hey, it's their life. They can do what they want. No, you, a good friend would step in and say, you are crazy. You need to stop and think about this. You're not being a good friend if you're just letting it go. But you have to portray who you are, but you have to build and grow in who you are. So if you're not doing that, none of this going to work anyway. I, I hate to tell you. You might as well hang it up. So I, I here's the thing. Don't be weird. Don't be weird in any way. If I want you, before you post, before you speak, before you, and I, by weird, I'm not saying, you know, goofy. Be goofy. I'm goofy. Some of y'all are goofy. I've seen you do some goofy stuff. Goofy's fun. Weird is not. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You with me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. So take a look at your profile. Take a look at who, you know, before you speak, think about it. Before you do anything, take a look at everything you've done today and say, did I do anything weird? Did I make anyone feel awkward? Um, and and you, you're going to say yes most of the time, but hopefully those incidences get fewer and further between. There's going to be plenty of times that you put your foot in your mouth. Um, it happens. There's plenty of times when I have said something that I meant as a compliment, but it came out kind of backhanded. Like, oh, you look so much better in that shade of lipstick than the one I saw you the other day. It's a backhanded compliment. Be careful how you word those things, because it's weird and it's rude and people won't like you, okay? I mean, it's just stuff like that. Think about, think about the words that are coming out of your mouth before you say them. And even better than that, think about if they really need to be said. Here's something that I have been working on for a long time and I'll probably be working on it for the rest of my life. But you need to remember that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. So here's the last reason that I'm going to tell you, or last way, not to be weird. 
when you're carrying on a conversation about somebody or with somebody, I want you to keep the focus on them. This is going to be hard. I'm not going to lie to you. This is really hard. This is really hard. We love to talk about ourselves. I love to talk about me because I think I'm an awesome person. But you love to talk about you. So if you and I are having a conversation and you're talking about you and I'm talking about we were me, we're not accomplishing anything. We're here to build people up. We're here to help people change their lives. And the only way that's going to happen is if we listen to their stories and we listen to what they're telling us about themselves. And you may be able to relate. And there may be times that you want to interject and go, I, I feel you. I was there. I feel like, I, you know, I, I feel your pain. I, this is what I found works. It's the feel, felt, found thing. And that's okay to a point as long as you're not constantly going back to you. But here's the thing. Most of it, every single one of us, I don't, I'm not even going to say most. Every single one of us has a real bad habit of turning conversations back so that we get the attention. Whether you think you do or not, you do. Pay attention to your conversations. I'm telling you, you're going to see it. If you don't do it, you're going to be tempted to do it. Okay? So I want you to think about those conversations, and I want you to think, okay, I could really tell a story about something that happened to me right now, but I'm not going to because it's not about me. It's about them. And I want you to keep asking them questions and let them talk about themselves and stop talking about yourself. If they want to know, they'll ask you. And then you let go, okay? But make sure you don't turn everything into you. Turn it back to them, okay? This is how you build friendships. This is how you build relationships. This is how you build your business. So don't be weird and talk about yourself all the time. Don't be weird and say, join my team, buy my product, join my team, buy my product. You're not a robot. You don't have to do that. And just let your personality show through. Let the goofy side show through. Let the fun side show through. Let the happy side show through. There's not enough happiness in this world. Okay, everybody, what? I deserve to be happy. No, you really, you don't. But you can choose to be happy. So why don't you all choose to be happy and show it? Show it when you're walking down the street. Put a smile on your face. Get rid of that RBF. Show it on your social media. Show how happy you are. I, I, I'll challenge you to post one thing that makes you happy about your life every single day this week. How? Oh, that just came to me. That's great social media marketing right there. You're going to have people wanting whatever you got. What you got is Avon. But you need to post one thing every day that makes you happy. I dare you. Okay, I'm all about this, these dares. Like, I dare you to do it double dog dare you how about that post one thing every single day this week that tells people why you are so happy with your life some of you might have to work to think about that but be good for you too okay all right don't be weird see you guys later